Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In the last video, I showed you how we can project some curves onto a surface. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can project Voronoi curves on a surface. Okay, so I'm going to uh, delete this project. Feel free to open a new Revit project. Uh, make sure that units are on meters, three decimal places, then we can open the Dynamo file. Uh, so in one of our last videos, we created a loft surface. Uh, I will put the link to that video on the description of this video. So we created a loft surface. I'm interested to have a Voronoi pattern on that loft surface. Okay, so uh, under geometry in Dynamo, there is tessellation, there is Voronoi, Delaunay and so on. So if I go to Voronoi, we have Y parameters on surface, UVs and face. So first I want to create a Voronoi pattern on the ground and then project it because if I create it directly on the surface, there might be some uh, gaps in between the objects, okay? So, uh, see this loft surface, uh, I think the whole width and length is 20 meters by 20 meters, so I want to create a rectangle, okay? And I want to assign uh, maybe 20 to width and length, and I want to assign x, y, which means it's going to be a horizontal uh, surface to the plane. There we go. Now I want to move it over there so it's uh, exactly below the object. So I want to go with move or translate and I want to move it by half of that 20. So I want to say uh, let's say divided by 2 which means whatever I, number I have over there. Divide it by half and then move this geometry uh, in x and y directions. Okay, so now you see we have the perimeter of the surface on the ground. Okay, uh, so you see that it's going to accept the face, the Voronoi, but I have a curve here. A rectangle is a curve. So I just want to patch this curve to become a surface by patch. Geometry goes to closed curve and now I have a rectangle. So this can go to the face. Okay, so now we just need to work on UVs of the uh, face. For now, I'm going to hide the loft. We'll get back to that. So far here, uh, I want to create a group. This is our horizontal surface. Okay, now I have a surface and I have UVs, right? Let's see what happens if I just right click and type UVs because we want UVs. And you see that uh, basically when we have a surface, we can get UV parameter at point. Okay, so here's the situation. We have a surface here and uh, I can connect surface to surface. We want to get the UVs, okay, and assign it to the UVs here. I will also need one other thing which gives me the points of that surface. Right click, go with uh, point at uh, parameter, which is this one which is related to the surface. If you are not sure what nodes to use, because this is a surface, go through the menus, go to geometry, surfaces, surface. And uh, here you see that uh, we have options to get the point at parameters and we have options to get UVs at parameters. So I want to connect the same surface to the surface, right? Now we want to get the points from this one and assign it here. But now we only have one point. Uh, how about I hide those curves that we used to create the loft so it's not going to be uh, confusing. We used three curves to create this loft surface. Uh, please feel free to watch the video if you don't know how to create a loft surface, I will put the link uh, in the description of this video. Uh, I also need to hide this list create from here. Okay, so now it's better. So next I want to assign some random values between 0 and 1 to the U and Vs. Because for the Voronoi pattern to work, we need uh, points at random locations. So I want to right click, go with random 
uh, you can just simply go with a random list. You can also go with the other one and assign values, but I'll go with this one. I want to right click type a slider. I want to assign an integer slider to the amount. We don't want it to be zero. So let's say at minimum, we want to create 50 points. At maximum, we want it to be 200 or even higher. So I'm going to assign this to the amount. Okay. And uh, I want to assign this maybe to the use. Now you see we have 50 random numbers between uh, 0 and 1, which means between 0 and 1 times length over the x or the red axis. Uh, next, I'm going to need another random list. And I want to assign another random list to the v, right? Now you see we have points all over. See, I didn't change the lacing. It's on auto, right? We didn't. We don't need to go with cross product, just shortest would work. And if I change this, we're going to have different uh, points at different locations. So I want to assign this to the points. And now we have the UVs and I want to assign this to the UVs. So that's our Voronoi pattern on that rectangle surface. How about I hide the rectangle so you can just see the pattern. And if you increase or decrease the numbers, uh, your set of mesh over there is going to be uh, denser or just uh, less dense, right? So, so far, this is our Voronoi pattern, which is on a horizontal plane. Okay, so I want to maybe move this down uh, and I want to create a group. So I'm going to leave this here, leave this here. I want to create a group and I want to name it as Voronoi Curves, right? Because there are curves, Voronoi Curves. Okay, so now it's a good time to turn the preview on for the loft surface. So we have a loft surface. Um, how about I move this up, move this group down. The two things that we need right now are the surface and the Voronoi curves. So this is the Voronoi curves. This is the loft surface. We want to project the Voronoi curves on the loft surface. So uh, just right click, type project. And you see there is option to project one piece of geometry onto another one. The base geometry is going to be the surface. Uh, project direction is going to be aligned the Z axis. So I want to right click, type Z, assign Z access to the projection and I want to connect curve to curve and now you see that that Voronoi pattern is just on the surface right so uh, feel free to change the uh, density how do I change the density if I change the amount of points and make them larger the amount of points that we assign to mass dot random list is going to create uh, a denser mesh for us, right? So I want to go with something like 150 for now, not too dense. Uh, that's good. Feel free to move around to see what pattern suits best for your project. So now we have the Voronoi curves on the surface. Okay, so I want to maybe hide the Voronoi pattern on the ground. We have the curves here. Uh, feel free to create a group and name this as projected curves. You can add on the surface. That's what we mean, right? Uh, now next, maybe I want to just extrude these curves. I want to go with extrude. And not as a, as a solid, but just as um, a surface. So I want to go with extrude. Maybe the direction is going to be the Z axis. So it's vertical Z goes to direction. Maybe this is going to be 30 centimeters. So I want to assign point C or something to the distance curves or geometry goes to curves. Right now, if I hide the surface, you can see that we have those uh, geometry on the surface, but what's missing is the perimeter curves. We lost them. Right. So I want to get the perimeter curves from the loft surface. So I want to right click type perimeter and we can get the perimeter curves of the loft surface. 
And in addition to the projected curves, I want the perimeter curves to be also um, extruded. So uh, here I want to right click, type list create, so I can add both inputs to one list. And now this list create goes to curves. So what happens now is that the perimeter curves are also extruded. And now if I just uh, thicken these final curves, if I right click, go with thicken, you see that um, maybe I can assign the same 30 centimeters to the thickness, surface to surface. Now you see we have basically some solids over there. So it's uh, kind of a solid, right? So this is what we have. Feel free to change your parameters. For instance, if I go back and uh, change the amount that we assign to the mass random list, uh, it's going to make it denser if I change it from 150 to 200 or something. Uh, but it's going to take some time. So if your computer is slow, just maybe you can put this on manual. I want to go with a lower number maybe. So uh, I, it doesn't take that much time here on my end. Finally, we have the solids here and uh, see it's a list inside the list. So I want to flatten this list and after I flatten it, I also want to go with solid by union. So all those solids will become one. So uh, I want to connect flatten to solids and solids to list. So it's going to flatten this list, so it's going to just be one list and then they will all become one single solid. So you see we have only one solid now, right? So here I can uh, make a group here, maybe from these items here. So create a group and I want to mention that this is our um, solid Voronoi on the surface, right? So how about I import this one solid into Dynamo. I can uh, right click, type import by geometry or geometries, doesn't matter because it's only one object. Uh, this time I want to put this on manual. I also want to import the loft surface itself. So the two things that I would like to import is uh, the surface, the loft surface and the solid by union. Right. As soon as I hit run, both objects will be imported into Revit. So I want to save this file and close it. The rest is going to uh, happen in Revit. Basically, when you import in this version, Revit 2022, it imports them into uh, Revit in feet. So I want to assign the conversion rate from feet to meters, which is 0.3048 here to both imported objects. So they're on the right size, right location. Now they're over there. Next, I want to go to manage object styles, imported objects. Uh, make sure to hit the plus sign here. The default category, one of them is for the glass surface. So I want to assign glass uh, to this surface. Maybe I can go with uh, just glass here. Okay apply. Uh, actually, it seems that it assigned glass to that uh, surface. So it's basically the other way around. The second geometry is the glass surface. The first uh, default category is the structure itself. Maybe it's steel, it's wood or something else. I can assign uh, steel or I can go with wood based on how you want to uh, create it. Okay. And now you see that we have the glass surface over there and we have the Voronoi pattern. Uh, that's it for this video. I'm going to open the Dynamo file again so you can take a last look at all my nodes at the same time. So we created the loft surface, we created the Voronoi curves and we projected them on the surface and then we just projected and thickened uh, those Voronoi curves. Uh, that's it for this video. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much.